In this simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make one of these using Bootstrap, jQuery, and a site called CodePen. The first thing we do when we open up a new CodePen is we go into the settings and we add Bootstrap and jQuery. Those are two JavaScript libraries that we're going to use. We're going to create a div element with a class of container. A container class is what Bootstrap uses as sort of like a root node for its organizational structure. I'm going to write a few lines of CSS. Basically, it's just going to make our container light blue so that we can see it. First line is going to say background, and that's going to be what makes our container light blue. And the second line is gonna give our container a height of 100% of the viewport. Another option that Bootstrap gives us for containers is container fluid. Container fluid just means a container that spans the entire width of the uh, document as opposed to leaving a margin on the sides. But for the purposes of this demo, we'll just stick with a container uh, so we can have that margin. Next, I'll demonstrate rows, which is another class that Bootstrap offers. A row is a division with a class of row, and I'll highlight that as well in the CSS so you can see what it looks like inside of the container. That's one row that you can see there with a height of 300 pixels. I'll now add a second row and I'm just going to put a little break between them so you can see the division of the two. Rows are sort of like a second level of content organization inside of a container. Now I'm going to place a column inside the row which is a way of specifying the width of our final content. The way Bootstrap deals with columns is it considers the width of the viewport to have a width of 12. And so when I make a column that is called column XS4, that's going to show up as just uh, one third of the viewport. And then on its left side there, there's going to be the padding from the container. Now when I add two more columns, uh, you'll see what happens here is that all three columns together now have a, have a width of 12, which means they take up the whole screen, except for the margins on the left and right uh, caused by the container. And when I make these columns different colors, you'll uh, see them stand out. Now I'll just revert to one column and I'm actually going to make this a width of 12 now just to show you what a full width column looks like. But for the purposes of this demo we'll just use a column width of 4 because we're actually going to center it. And the way we center a column with Bootstrap is we make another imaginary column to the left of it. So imagine if I made two columns both of width 4, the second column would actually be in the center of the screen. In this case though, column XS offset 4 means that make a fake column to the left of it that's a width of 4 and then take up the center 4 columns with one column and then if we did add another column it could span for the 4 on the, on the right side of that center column. Now inside that column I've placed our final division and I've given it an ID of card. Right now I'm giving it a height of 200 and I'm going to make it an orange color. And then what we're going to see is it'll appear there and that's the final shape that we want to put our content inside. I'm going to give this shape a uh, black border and make its corners rounded just to make it look a little better and then we'll move on to the JavaScript. Yeah. 
in the first line of JavaScript, I'm just gonna tell jQuery uh, to wait until the document fully loads before running any code. Anything inside of this function will run after the entire document loads. We could center this rectangle with CSS, but in order to demonstrate some JavaScript, I'm gonna center it with JavaScript. So the first thing there is I'm telling jQuery to get the height of the window because that's one of the values that I'm gonna to use to center this. Then I'm using jQuery to target that element with an ID of card, and I'm telling it to go into the CSS of that element and set its margin top to half the height of the document. What we see happen here is that the top of that element now is at the middle section of the document, but we actually want the middle of this element to be centered. So we have to subtract half the height of that element in order to get it to the true center of the page. Now that we have what we want visually, we can finally add some content to the rectangle. So I'm gonna open up the div tags for the card and then put in a header two. And we see when this shows up that it's not in the center of the block, but we want it to be in the center. So we're gonna use a property of Bootstrap uh, called text center. We make a class called text center and then Bootstrap handles the rest, centering the hello world text in the middle of the element. Now we're gonna add a paragraph tag with a sentence of text. Uh, the font size is gonna be too small, so we'll make some CSS that increases the font size. We'll use a special CSS selector here to select the card element and then the paragraph tag inside of the card element. We'll set up our font size and then we'll put in a little bit of padding so the text isn't as close to the left side as it is now. And that completes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.